Hey y'all, Alexis here. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Alexis. I'm in the Air Force Reserves as a flight medic. In this video, I want to talk about what it is like being a female at BMT. You know, our experience is different than our brother flights, and so I just want to put this out for those of you who might be shipping out soon, who may have some fears or some anxiety about how certain things are going to work. And so I just want to clear the air and say as an overall statement, you're going to be okay. You'll figure it out. And everything that you think is a big deal in your brain, it's not. So first, I'm going to start with the bathroom. All right, ladies, so anytime you have to use the bathroom, it's not a problem to just go and use the bathroom. And in, in BMT, you understand that you can't say bathroom, you have to say latrine. So you don't have to ask to go to the latrine, you just go when your body tells you you have to go. Uh, that goes for when you're in classes, uh, when you're just in the dorm. Now if you're marching and you're in your flight, that might be a situation where you have to notify your MTI that hey, like I gotta go to the bathroom but no one is going to look down on you or frown on you because you have to go to the bathroom. So just go, all right? You're an adult, they will treat you as one, and so just take care of your business, all right? That leads me to the second thing, pooping, right? I don't know if you're already comfortable pooping in public, if you're not. If you're not, understand that everyone will have to go at a certain point, right? Now for me, I have a system, right? I know how to go in and out really quickly, <laughs> right? But if that's not you, if you have to take some time, it's okay. It's more of a problem if you're not pooping. If you're not, if your digestive system is not flowing the way it should be, then that's an issue. So understand that no one is going to care, really. And maybe at the end of BMT, you might be so comfortable with the people in your flight that you let your people know like, hey, I'm about to go poop, I'll be back. <laughs> that's how it was with me and my people that I vibed with like y'all be right back after poop you know and you just take care of this and you come back so don't be like super concerned about having to poop when you have to poop you have to do what you gotta do right that leads me to showering right if you have anxiety about showering about being fully unclothed in front of, in front of other people also understand that one, that there's limited time when it comes to showering, you're on the clock. And two, everyone is so focused on cleaning, cleaning themselves that so they don't have time to stare at you. Of course, you're gonna see other bodies and other bodies will see you, right? That's inevitable, no one is blind. But no one's gonna be staring you down, judging what's going on in your part of the world, <laughs> right? No one is going to be doing that. I remember my first shower at BMT, it was cold, the water was freezing. So everyone's trying to survive the shower. No one is like awkwardly trying to like cover all of their parts. Like no, like I need to be clean and need to get out because it's cold, <laughs> right? So showering at some point in your BMT experience, it'll just be a regular thing to just strip, go take a shower and come back because you'll be with these people for eight and a half weeks, right? Um, so don't be too concerned about that. Shaving. Right? When will you have time to shave? If you're a person that has a lot of body hair, you know, does that make you nervous? It made me nervous. But the best time to take care of that is on the weekends, on Sundays. Sundays are like the holy grail <laughs> of every week. No MTIs are present. And so it's just you and your people in your fight. And so people take advantage of Sundays to shave, to do their hair care and all of that stuff to prep for the upcoming week. So you will have time to shave. I wouldn't say you'd have time every single day, but at least on Sundays, you can take care of that, okay? So you will have time to maintain, <laughs> okay, to maintain. The next thing that I wanna talk about is, well, let me just stay on the topic of hygiene, is hair, right? I did a whole video about hair, what hairstyles my brown skin sisters should do, what's best for maintenance. And so if you like those ideas, just take a look at the video that I'll link above. Um, but understand, like I said previously, you have limited amount of time. So do something that is clean, that is, a sec that is acceptable and doesn't take a lot of time. Set up a routine for yourself. Even practice before you going to BMT, 
to know what your hair should be doing and it's not a completely foreign thing when you get there. Um, and understand that you can bring some hair care products with you, but not a ton. Don't bring your whole arsenal because you only have a drawer of personal space to put whatever you want in there. And for me, I can't bring all of my oils and my moisturizers and my shampoo. I can't do that. <laughs> all right, so bring two holy grails with you that will keep you together just for those eight and a half weeks. And then um, you'll be good to go from there. Yeah, makeup. Okay, makeup, if you're the type of person that wears makeup every day, it's your day-to-day -day thing, it's not gonna be a thing during BMT. You don't have time, are you catching the pattern? <laughs> you don't have time, and it's not about looking pretty, honestly. It's about getting the training that you need so that when you get to tech school, you know the, the customs and courtesies, you know how to behave as an airman, you know what your responsibility is and your duty is and what your commitment means, right? So makeup is not gonna be a thing. You can bring it with you. It'll just be locked in your civilian luggage. Uh, you have access to it for graduation and for pictures, but those are, only, those are the only two occasions that we had access to any sort of makeup when you were granted that chance. Other than that, bare, <laughs> right? For me, I'm not a huge makeup person, although I did do some today, right? <laughs> I'm not a huge makeup person, but so for me, it wasn't uncomfortable for me to just soap and water, lotion, we're good to go. If it is for you, see it as an opportunity to love your skin, right? To love your natural beauty, <laughs> okay? Um, because it's gonna be a common occurrence. Yeah, birth control. So if you are currently on birth control, you can bring your current method with you to BMT. If you want to start birth control, there will be an opportunity to do so as well. Um, there will be a birth control briefing and then you can go to that and start whatever method you would like For me personally, I never had been on birth control before basic and didn't have any interest in starting so I didn't go <laughs> But if you want to you definitely and certainly can and ask them all the questions next I want to talk about medical issues, right? If you ever have any sort of medical problem Speak up, share with your MTI what's going on because your health and your well-being is priority number one. Your MTI does care about it, even though it may seem like all they want to do is yell. They do care that you are okay. And so if you're having a sort of issue, any sort of issue, you can go to Reed, which is the medical facility on base, and they can prescribe antibiotics or allergy medicine or whatever you may need to kind of counteract what's going on with you. For me specifically, I had COVID during basic. And so I was quarantined for like 14 days, came back to my flight, was able to train and graduate on time. So if something is going on with you, don't be so concerned about completing BMT or sacrificing your health to stay with your flight. Your health is first. If you're, if you're quarantined or put in med hold, if you're pushed back, your training, that does suck, it does. But you wanna make sure that you're better, that you're fully equipped to do your PT test, to do your training, um, and to graduate in a good state. Yeah, so don't suffer in silence. Let your MTI know what's going on with your body. If something is wrong, they will find help for you. They wanna make sure you're okay. The last three things I wanna cover. The first thing is trauma. It's inevitable in a female fight with over 40 people in one space, it's inevitable. Um, but let me tell you that teamwork is a high emphasis at BMT. Like you're not gonna get through it without your fight coming together, without your fight being able to see eye to eye, without your fight being able to be on the same page to accomplish certain things or the entire thing. And so if drama is present, try your best to avoid it. The reality is you're not gonna like everybody in your fight. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> all right, it's almost impossible, <laughs> okay? Because there's so many people coming from all over the world, different experiences, different ages, different communities, different backgrounds, right? And so you might clash with some other people, but understand that the goal is to graduate. And the best way to not be a part of drama is just to mind your own business, right? Keep your head down, do what's necessary and required of you to be your best graduate or be your best airman. Um, and keep that as your focus, right? Female flights have a problem with collaborating and drama, but it doesn't have to be your issue. For me, um, I didn't know all the drama that was happening in my flight until the end, the very end. 
<laughs> because I just was not interested. Yeah, so don't let people get under your skin. Just keep your head down and stay focused on the goal. The next thing is fitness. I've already encouraged you guys in multiple previous videos to start your fitness journey now before you go, even if you have three weeks, two weeks before basic, do something to prepare your body for that. If not, basic is the place where they will teach you these exercises, push-ups, sit-ups, burpees, mountain climbers, lunges, they will teach you all those things as well. But to not be so stressed if it's foreign to you, start before you go. Um, because it doesn't matter if you're a female flight or if you're a brother flight, everyone has to take the same PT test. Everyone has to pass it to graduate. For me, fitness is not foreign to me. Being active isn't foreign to me, so it's a no sweat for me. But if it is for you, do it before. Or if you don't have time, if you're like a day before and you're watching this video, <laughs> then just understand that when they teach you these exercises to give it 100%, your body will learn them. Um, and you'll be get you'll get you'll have time throughout that eight and a half weeks to get better and improve um, upon your physical fitness level while you're there. All right, the last final thing I want to share, the last part of this video, is that basic isn't that bad. It's not that scary. I remember before I go into basic, I had this like scary picture of basic, like we're in this dungeon and it's scary and it's dark and people are screaming and they don't give you food like. I had this really extreme view of basic um, until I talked to people who have been through it, like my sister who went ahead of me and asked her, like, what do you think is gonna be my biggest struggle? She told me the people. And I was like, okay. Cause I don't really have, I've never been around so much female energy in my life. <laughs> there was a lot of people. Yeah, so if you know people that have gone through it, um, that you are close to or may not be close to, but you are connected to them in some way, ask them, what do you think the biggest struggle will be for me? So that you can already be ahead of the game when you get there, that this is something that you know you'll need to overcome. But all in all, basic is not that bad. It's not. You will survive. You will get through it. All of the minuscule things that you feel like you'll get tripped up over, you probably won't. If you need help, ask your MTI. You'll find people within your fight. Hopefully that you'll have friendships. Um, even after you leave. I have friendships that even after basic, a year later, we still talk, we still bond, we can check in with each other. And so that is one good thing about basic. It is terrible at times, but you'll leave with people that you're forever connected to. You'll be happy that it's a part of your journey and your experience. Um, and it is, it'll be something you'll never forget. <laughs> it'll be something you'll never forget. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Um, if you have any other specific questions, my ladies, just put them in the comments. I'd love to answer them. Um, just understand that if I could do it, you can too. No sweat. It's easy. <laughs> okay? But I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not subscribed, make sure you do right now. I'll be sharing lots more of my experience. I want you guys to be informed um, and answer any questions that you may have. But again, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next video.